Bubbles are smart. They get the maximum effect for the minimum work. For example, if I blow a bubble, it takes the form of a ball, a sphere. Not only is it beautiful, but it also holds the maximum amount of air using the minimum amount of bubble solution in a very stable structure. Let's find out what we know about bubbles. Fact, all bubbles are round. Sorry to burst your bubble. Actually, bubbles can be square, rectangular, triangular, any number of shapes. And with dome, you can make some really amazing bubbles. So, what do we know for sure about bubbles? Bubbles are smart. Now that's true. In fact, bubbles can show us quite a bit. Suppose you have four space stations in outer space and you wanted to position a supply ship at the most efficient point to send supplies to all stations. Where would you put that supply ship? Just ask a bubble. Is it where you thought it would be? The bubble comes together at a single point smack dab in the middle of this model. And the bubble is using the least amount of solution to connect all four points. Now, what do you think the bubble would look like if we were to dip the cube into the bubble solution? The 3D triangle slash pyramid. When I put the bubble in it, it came to a point in the center. So this is probably going to do the same thing. I think that I'm going to get like diagonal lines coming from each of the balls. Whoa! That is definitely not a point. It's a square. It was kind of right, except for we have this little square and that looks pretty cool. The more you play around, the more you'll be surprised at what bubbles can do. Whoa, look at that. Oh, the square can change what side it's facing. So now let's try to make it face the other way. There you go. And now let's turn it this way and try to make it face in front of it. Huh. So I wonder if I tried dipping it again, what it would do. Voila! There's a big bulgy cube thingy in the middle with a little add-on. There we go. You can also use a straw to add an extra bubble. Whoa! It's a cube! So I guess inside it mirrors what the outside is. Now here's an interesting structure. It's called a dodecahedron. Each face is a pentagon, and each side has another pentagon attached until they form this odd-shaped ball. Now, what kind of bubbles do you think this might make? Now let's see what kind of bubble I get if I dip the dodecahedron. I'll go in once and just see what happens. There's a lot of pentagonal sort of thingies in the middle. So, I wonder if it's possible to get the same sort of thing we did with the cube, where there was a little cube inside. So I'm gonna try dipping it twice. Here's the secret. Hold the model with the pentagon facing down. Dip the model all the way in the bubble solution. Bring it out slowly and dip it halfway again to trap a bubble in the middle. Looks like there is a little dodecahedron in there and a little... Now, to make it perfect, you can pop extra bubbles with a dry finger, and you can make the one in the middle bigger or smaller with a wet straw. The zone dodecahedron isn't the easiest bubble to make, but it's well worth the effort. Ready to give it a try? With just a few models, we've seen some pretty amazing bubbles. The more you play with different kinds of models, the better you'll be at predicting the kinds of bubbles each will make. And the more you experiment, the more you'll be amazed at how smart and surprising zone bubbles can be.